Chapter 5. Chapter 5, we're going to be talking finally about the elements. And mainly, we're talking about how you normally see the elements is in the periodic table. So, chapter 5 explains how the number and position of subatomic particles cause the unique properties of each element. The development of modern, the modern periodic table is what we're going to basically be talking about in chapter 5a shows the collaborative nature of science and how the to change the the changes in the model have occurred over the, over the history in chapter in section 5b we're talking about uh electronegativity is one of the most important concepts that we're going to hit in later chapters so i'm it's, i'm kind of introducing to you now um don't get too bogged down in chapter section 5c you might treat this as a kind of a reference section throughout the year and so it's important that we go over it, but what I would rather you do is kind of go over it, learn the concepts, and as we go further along, you can come back to it and say, oh, I understand um, where that information is. Or don't, don't feel the need to memorize everything in Chapter 5C, but rather have it as a place where you know you can go back to and reread it just in case you need to pick up any of the bits and pieces of information. I want to... Ins emphasize the significance of valence electrons uh, in each group and are and and we'll cover that in this section after this section we're going to use the periodic table from this point on in all of your quizzes and test where when they're appropriate so this is i don't expect you to memorize the periodic table uh, exactly i do expect you to memorize definitely the the symbols and the names associated with them and as you use them more and more you'll probably start memorizing some of the numbers but um i don't think anyone any scientist memorizes the periodic table they just they have it up on on the wall so that way we can use it as a reference um essentially i think the most important thing i want you to understand with the periodic table is that it's not magic it's not something that we we've um dug up from the ground and we found and there's this great periodic table uh, essentially what it is is and in fact i might even have you do a lab similar to this where we lay things out on on index cards and we kind of rearrange things and we say oh hey if i arrange this in this particular order it kind of makes sense as far as putting things together and then so what we're going to discover is how it was put together and then how we can use it as a tool throughout our chemistry careers.